From Tampa Bay Streaming News Source, brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com. This is ABC Action News. We do have the potential for severe weather later in the afternoon. Your forecast is coming up. I'm Lauren St. Germain, and here are your ABC Action News headlines. A man accused of drunk driving slams into a local tiki bar during a busy family festival. That accident forced customers to dive out of the way. Pinellas County deputies arrested Dwayne Wagner after he injured two people at Thirsty Marlin Grill and Bar. This all happened Friday night during Palm Harbor's Citrus Festival. Investigators say Wagner reversed into a power pole, then sped forward and knocked down a six foot fence. One victim tells us Wagner narrowly missed hitting several customers. We're lucky we're here and everybody in that place knows it. We're lucky that something we you would he could have come. He, I don't know how much closer he could have got than we wouldn't have been killed. We've learned Wagner has been convicted twice of drunk driving. He was already awaiting trial from a December DUI arrest. The state revoked his license back in 2009. This morning, Tampa police are looking for the hit and run driver who they say killed a 52 year old man. Early Saturday morning, police tried pulling over the driver of a rented Jeep, but he took off. That driver ran a stop sign at East Columbus Avenue and 26th Street in Ybor City. He then crashed into and killed Artemis Holly. The driver and the passenger of that Jeep ran and from the scene, police did catch the passenger, but they say he's not cooperating. Happening today, a very special reunion. Puerto Ricans will be reunited with the pets they left behind when Hurricane Maria devastated the island. Dozens of dogs and cats will arrive on a flight from Puerto Rico to the Bay Area. It's all thanks to a partnership between several animal rescue organizations like SPCA Tampa Bay. The flight will arrive today at St. Pete Clearwater International Airport. Tampa Bay Lightning fans celebrated Game 2 victory in the first round of the play. Playoffs. The Bolts beat the New Jersey Devils yesterday 5-3. Tampa Bay scored four goals in the second period to snag that win. The Lightning now lead the series 2-0. to zip. The series shifts to New Jersey Monday night for Game 3. Universal Orlando Resort is now hiring for the summer season, and they need 3,000 people. Universal is looking to fill both full and part-time positions. The jobs are in food services, attractions, and sales. Universal is offering free perks like free park admission, discounts and complimentary guest passes. We posted a link on how to apply on abcactionnews.com. Just search Universal. And we continue to watch for a few strong thunderstorms this afternoon. A slight risk of severe weather continues across all of West Central Florida. That's a level two out of five, so this will not be an outbreak, but definitely watching for the potential for some gusty winds inside some of the strongest storms. Winds could be in excess of 60 miles per hour. There's always an isolated tornado threat, but that threat definitely appears to be the lowest, and the timing on this would be after 1 p.m. today. We'll be into the low to mid 80s with a mix of clouds and sun, but more clouds than sun, and then the front will start to move in after one o'clock, and anywhere within the line of thunderstorms with our cold front, there's the potential for some of those stronger storms to turn severe by eight o'clock though the front is out of here we're done with it and then we see a significant cool down heading into tomorrow's forecast where highs will struggle to get to 70 degrees under mostly sunny skies you can now get news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device and don't forget to download the free abc action news mobile app don't they know they're supposed to use the crosswalk? Hey, you on your phone, put that down until you cross the street. Whoa, stop! Can't you see there are pedestrians crossing here? Ugh, I can't take it anymore! Drivers, put your phone down. Be alert. Watch for pedestrians, especially when approaching a crosswalk. Pedestrians, always use the crosswalk and push the button so I can help you cross safely. Alert today, alive tomorrow, because safety doesn't happen by accident.